For the herald's voice is crying in the desert far and near, calling us to true repentance since the reign of God is here. Oh, that warning cry obey, now prepare for God away. Let the valleys rise in meeting and the hills bow down in greeting. Today's psalm is psalm number 54. But before I get started on reading that one, I invite you, as you are listening to these different psalms, to perhaps listen to each line, line by line. Get out your Bible and read along and perhaps pause the video after each line, after each verse, and hear the word of God in your heart. What are you being called to do in this moment? There are so many different callings right now. There are callings of prayer, there's calling for rest, there's calling for seclusion and quarantine, there's people literally crying out in the streets, both with their voices and also with actions. In these times, there is so much anxiety. It, it behooves each and every one of us to evaluate where exactly we are being called and what are we being called to do? How are we being called to learn? This particular song, uh, psalm uses words like vindicate and God will repay my enemies, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Very divisive language, and we are in a very divisive time. So how can reading these psalms and listening to these psalms, how can they promote peace in your heart? How can they help you come to a sense of of peace and fellowship with the world, or perhaps how do they spur you to action? So with all of that in mind, listen to these words from Psalm number 54. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For the insolent have risen against me, the ruthless seek my life. They do not set God before them. But surely God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. God will repay my enemies for their evil. In your faithfulness put an end to them. With a free will offering I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. For God has delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Let us pray. Almighty God, you give us urgings to be your people, to help your people, to be your hands and feet and mouth and body in this world. We are all connected through Jesus Christ as the body of Christ. And sometimes we don't know how to step forward. We celebrate your Holy Spirit coming to each of us. But what does that actually mean? Help us, O oh God. Help us learn what your Spirit come to us means in this world. Amen. God be with you till we meet again. Unseen wings protecting hide you daily. Manna still provide you. God be with you till we meet again.